Yeah, it's live because it's me. I'm still moving. You're the, he's the live part of the demo. Right. Is that all right? You want a quick demo? You're alive. I'm a yeah. machine. Player. And you're going to leave alive. Yeah. I that's an important part about like, the demo. That's what they call you, permanent. Big machine. Permanent. It's okay. permanently, yeah. So, are you guys all do embroidery? Yes. How many heads do you have? How long have you been in business? Okay, how do you do an applique right now? How are you going to do this situation here? We have an IO-line cutter. Okay, so how are you going to do that? that? Why, why I can't, that I don't do. Because you only do tackle twill? Yeah. Because it needs to be a stiff material. Yeah. And then what do you do? You running stitch the design, and then you stop the machine, you lay the letters on top. Right. And then you start it up slowly, right. and you got to pray that everything's in place, right. and then you're in business, we'll right? Off, run off what do you charge for a, a full front applique if you did something this big? Usually we had about $15 for the garment. Yeah. Did you ever do a time study? No, not really. Okay, I'm going to give you an email. I, I want you to do order to get the money these days. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Being busy is not the same as being profitable, right? right? So here's what I want to explain. What about something like this? Impossible? Uh, we could do it, but you, you know, I don't have the cutter. I mean, I don't, you, this is done with a laser, right? Yeah. yeah, so here's the principle. I want you to do more applique, because this is all lo little stitch count. I didn't do a running stitch here mm -hmm. to trace it. Right. All I did was I lay down any material I want. Right. But I don't buy it from the retail supplier that's pre-cut. I buy it in bulk. So somebody like Twill USA is great to buy from, okay? Mm -hmm. And they'll sell you it on a roll, and they get all the colors that you need. But I would just lay down the t-shirt, sweatshirt, the reverse... I could lay down felt, I could lay down tackle twill, tackle twill, not the expensive one, the one without the glue. And all I'm doing, you're an embroiderer too, mm -hmm. is running stitches. The nearest machine to you is now in, uh, uh, just outside of Buffalo. I forget the name of the town, but I call it Buffalo. We're, we're based in Toronto, we have the warehouse yeah. in uh, yeah. Niagara Falls. So um, it's called uh, Imprintables, or uh, I forget, I'll, I'll remember the name in a second. So. You're going to lay that down, and all you're going to do is a running stitch. And when you do the running stitch, you will take it out, remaining in the hoop. You will plug that into the laser, and when you put it underneath the laser, the laser will cut around. you see the lines here? It'll cut around that area, then it's off the embroidery machine, and then I can clean it. So it's really easy, really quick, really simple. And now I'm done. Same How with this. You you, you pull up after you because your embroidery head, would you agree that on your 15 heads, if I take stuff out of one and put it in another, they're not going to register, correct? They're not perfect. Each one has its own unique zero. Mm -hmm. My laser is in 100% harmony with your embroidery machine so that it's also registered to each individual embroidery head. You've seen the laser bridge? The laser bridge moves and stops right. and then the software is telling it where everything is. We do the same except you do the moving part because a $180,000, $200,000 laser bridge comes with no bedrooms and no bathrooms. <laughs> okay? Now... So you're saying we take it off the thing and put it on here and let it cut it and then put it... Yeah, I, I'm, let's say you have two six heads and whatever. So one six head is doing the, um, the chuck job and the other one's doing the sally job. And you're just going to pull that out and you're going to do that constantly. Because the laser is always much faster than the embroidery. I'll do that for you in a second. Now look at this one here. This is the reverse applique. What a nightmare that is for you. All I did was do it backwards. I put the backing underneath the material oh, wow. and I cut it through the sweatshirt. But here's the trick. There's a bit of foil in here. Yeah, that's, you see, what'd you say? Oh, uh, so how do you keep it from burning? Exactly. That little piece of foil in there. But I'll do a, a demo right now. Again, like really popular because it's tone on tone, really simple, really cheap. The foil keeps it from going through the fabric. The yeah. Fabric, right? It's really important you do that. Yeah, let me, do I have my laser on me? So here I got a black t-shirt, right? Can you just hold the shirt for me for a second? And open it up at the bottom. So this is a dollar store laser pointer. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to point the laser through here. Oops. Look at that, right on his jacket. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what's going to happen when you use a cutting laser that's a much... This is a big fat bean. But the laser is actually very fine and very strong, so it'll go through that in a heartbeat without any trouble. So you right. need to put the foil underneath. And that makes it bounce back. Uh, it doesn't let it go through. Well, what happens to it? It's got to go somewhere. It gets absorbed, reflected, reflected. Really? Yeah, I, the light gets all dispersed yeah, because the T-shirt... You know, hurt the light bulbs ahead of you. Right? It's already gone before... When it gets through the shirt, it's already moved past, so it's, it's moving so fast. Mm -hmm. You know, have you seen... A, you can let go of that. I see. Mm -hmm. Then you let go. Yeah. Have you seen a plotter laser? 
The plotter laser's got to, if it's going to do this, it's got to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. You got 10 minutes because I'm going to stay here, zigzag, zigzag. It's, that's what it's going to do the whole time. The bigger the design, the more fill it is. So let's say this Porsche Panamera logo is very fine. But this one has, let's say, three times the amount of material in it. It's going to take a lot longer. But what I do is I have a laser that's shooting from up here. And I go, I make a small movement here and I have a giant movement down there. So that's why I can do something in seconds. It's tall, yeah. It's, it's tall because it's expensive and i got to make it look bigger. <laughs> well, you know what? I decided, when you look at the bridge laser, it's the oh, same concept. <laughs> so, take a look here for one second. Can you press the Mona Lisa? Who? Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. And uh, go and pick uh, Google here. Google 3? Yeah, sure. And pick open. And there's your power, your, your speed, and your uh, passes. Press that one time. Okay, here's the registration process. You do like you already own the laser, sir. Yeah. What do you let me get in here? So now you, I, I've got this top filled up, so I'm just going to put the bottom in. All right. There's my registration. Now press that red button one more time and press to the left one more. Oh, wait, hit that harder, yeah. And to the left. Ready? Go ahead. You would still Do you see that? Yeah. Done. So that's like uh, maybe three, four seconds. I didn't count exactly. But that's worth 350 in a high volume, five bucks in a low volume. So anything tone on tone, you can do really quickly. Can you imagine how this would look if it was um, embroidered because it would tend to pucker? You know how many thread starts and stops for the rhinestone? Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. That would be a big headache. So top